Are you feeling that you are getting hacked? Someone is hacking your computer? Then learn how to prevent, detect and respond to it in 2023. I will be explaining you that how you can find out that your PC has been hacked and how you can delete and remove these hackers, Trojan and malware from your PC and laptop. All right. Number one, what you can do first, you can bring up your Google Chrome and then open Google Password Manager. This link will be in the description. Once you come here, you need to log in with the same Google account that is logged in with your Google Chrome. And once you come here, you will be getting an option of password check. Click on password check and then it will let you know that what kind of situation it is for your password. Now, what I'm getting here is 11 compromised password. So my 11 password has been compromised. 1117 I have reused password that are uh, like I have created twice then I have 684 account that's using a weak password now the most important one is here on the top that says 11 compromised password so you need to click here now here it will display all kind of website and it's asking you to change the password for that particular website so click on change password and then create a new and a strong password for each and every website displayed over here all right once you are done you also need to find out that if there is anyone live on your computer or not so what you can do you can click on your windows search type netplwiz you will be getting netplwiz run command you have to click on it a small box will be coming up now this will display all the user account created on your device now here you need to identify that is there any user account that you don't identify or you have not created now keep in mind these hackers are very intelligent they create a username that looks very similar to your username okay so you have to find out once you get it you need to click on it and then click on remove all right so remove all the user account that you don't identify and only keep the one that you're using and then you need to click on your windows search type ms config you will be getting system configuration click on it now here from the top menu option you have to click on boot now below you will find boot option here click save boot and then choose network then click apply and then click on ok now click on restart now we are restarting our system our pc and laptop in a safe mode in networking so that there should not be any kind of infection and we can easily do the troubleshooting to just kick out these hackers and the infection from the computer. All right, so the system has been now started. Let me quickly log in. And now our system has been created in a safe mode and you can see on the right and top, it says safe mode. Now, we first need to begin with running some kind of a scan. Open your Google Chrome or any of the browser that you use and open this website Malwarebyte. I will leave the link in the description you can just directly come to this website now once you come here you have to click on free download and once it's been downloaded you need to open the malware byte it looks like this and once it comes up you have to click on the scan and then it will start checking for updates startup item registry and all the file system so let it run in the background and meanwhile you will be getting another link in the description uh, you just need to download EDW Cleaner. Okay, it's also sponsored by Malwarebyte. Again, you have to click on free download and then you have to run the scan for this EDW Cleaner as well. All right. And meanwhile, it's running. What you can do, you can again click on the search box, type CMD. Right click on command prompt, choose run as administrator. The black window will be coming up. Here you have to type SFC space forward slash scan now hit enter now this command will be scanning all the system file for any kind of integrity violation so again we can minimize it till all the scans are running and once the scan get completed what you will have to do next again click on the search box type ms config click system configuration click on the boot option uncheck the save boot then click apply and then click on ok Again restart and the system will now be starting in the normal board. Alright, the system has now been restarted. Now what you will have to do next, you need to click on your Windows search. Type appwyz.cpl. Then you have to click on appwyz.cpl. This will bring up program and feature. 
and now here you have to look for the application and program that has been currently installed you can look by date here and whichever you don't identify or you don't use you need to make a right click on it and choose uninstall all right just keep in mind that these kind of hackers they mostly install any kind of application with the help of malware so you have to look for any kind of suspicious program and file and simply just uninstall and delete it once uninstalled from here you have to close it and then you also need to delete from the file explorer from the c drive so click the file explorer then go to this pc then go to local disk c then you have to look for program file x86 double click on it now here also you need to look for the folder of that particular application or program that you don't identify and then you need to make a right click on it and choose delete so once you are done with all these steps then finally you have to change the wi-fi password from your router okay so just better have a new wi-fi password for the connection and just disconnect all the devices and change the password and then reconnect it back again all right now in case still if you're not satisfied with all these steps and you still feel uh suspicious you're not comfortable then you can go ahead and reset your pc so that will be completely removing all the uh, compromised actions application and software from your device so in order to do that you have to click on your windows search type reset click reset this pc option now here click reset pc again and here you will be getting two different options keep my file the first option will be deleting all the application and programs that you have installed or anybody else has installed and it will only keep the data that has been saved in the drive but the second option will delete everything like personal file apps and settings i would recommend you to go with the second option but if you have some important data then you can go with the first option so follow the steps reset this pc and after that you will be completely safe and even your performance your pc will be like a brand new computer so that's all guys hopefully this complete list of instructions and steps will surely help you to get rid of the hackers from your pc and laptop and if you found this helpful please consider subscribing to the channel like the video for any question let me know in the comment section till then take care bye bye